mm. na kwa bia within one year watoto walikuwa wanatolewa shule zingine wanaletwa kwa niliajiri walimu even today mm. nobody believes that charity <laughs> hale is mess alikuwa na chick na toy toy na meza zo guy zote alienda kipuja na huku hakuogea na wasasi na kwa sababu hiyo siku alikuwa amenisha pali niwekelea panga hapa na niliangalia madresi hivi ya bed nikakuta kisu mulevu ameweka hivi nikajua hii ndio nitakuja kuuawa nayo good morning good afternoon good evening depending hey video tuna whatsapp gapi my good people how are you leo niko side za udhero kila mtu anaweza pitia kwa maisha hata mama ama baba huwa wana uchungu wa moyo and the reason why tunataka kusikiza mtu ambaye angetaka kuongea ni kwa sababu kuna kitu angependa imuodoke na pia ifikie mtu fulani ndio akue rafiki yake na pia msaidizi wake i have a mother let me say a mother because she is my mother at the story of her life it might be painful and also worrying but because you are here to listen with me sometimes we don't understand what they are up to until they talk and by so it is my privilege to welcome my guest today how are you mami i'm fine you're fine yes asante kwa kutuelekea huku yes na kukubali sisi tukuje huku kwako asante twabii majina yako majina yangu ni Sharit Mahinda mm, Mahinda Mahinda kutoka wapi Mahinda is from Nyeri mhm mm Madera huko ndio kwetu home mm -hmm. na huko ndio tulizaliwa mm. but sababu ya weather ya huko by that time kulikuanga very cold dad alikuwa anafanya kazi huko Nairobi mm -hmm. na Gava so ilifika wakati akaona instead niwe na subua mama sababu nilikuwa na affectiwa kwa kifua yangu na pneumonia mm -hmm. baba yangu akaagana na mama yangu animbembe nikuje tukae na yeye huku town by that time sikuwa nimerudi shule mm -hmm. So wakati alitulikana yeye akienda gajob aliona sasa age yangu imefika ya kurudi ina, anirudisha shule kwa sige ka peke yangu kama ameenda job so aliona the better ni anipeleke shule aweza kufanya job mm. so ile job nini shule alinipeleka inaitwa St Peter Clevers <laughs> ile iko karibu na bus station huko chini yeah. so mimi nilisoma vizuri tu tukiwa na da, baba yangu na alikuwa tu ananiangalia vizuri wakati nilimaliza primary level nilipita vizuri tu nikaitwa Nyeri Nyeri nini shule ya gao suko mm -hmm. so wakati nilienda Nyeri mimi nikaendelea mpaka form 4 wakati nilimaliza form 4 nilipata tu grade poa mm -hmm. baba tukarudi na yeye akanipeleka ni, ni, akanipeleka college inaitwa Graphins College mm -hmm. Na alikuwa ananipeleka nifanye secretary by that time. So by that time kosi singe kana baba yangu nilikuwa at that age nilienda kwa dadangu mkubwa kuliko mimi alikuwa anaka umoja. Tukaishi na yeye. So wakati nilijoin hiyo college first year nikaenda college wakati nilikaa huko nikiendelea nikakuta kuna marafiki neighbors wangu huko mmoja walikuwa wanasomea hiyo college but walikuwa head of me tukaka tukasoma you know the life of nairobi at that teens age or young young that young age mm -hmm. so tukawa na marafiki ilikuwa moto but before ni maliza that one year nikawa na boyfriend because those my best wangu walikuwa gana my boyfriend nami nika introduceiwa <laughs> na mimi nikapata mmoja And he was a learned man he was an engineer. Nani ile ku introduce your boyfriend? <laughs> That girl from Mukurwini. Uh -huh. he, she was called Wagoi. Yeye yeah, alikuwa na boyfriend akasema uh, ata alikuwa na boyfriend <laughs> yake na huyu alikuwa anaishi same house ni mmoja. Oh. So wakati tulikuwa tunakuta Wagoi alikuwa ananiambia tunatoka shule in college pamoja tunakuta huyo jamaa yake hapo na huyu anaishi na ye. Mm. I don't know how they talked or oh, ama walipanga aje mimi nilijikuta tu tuko na ye peke yake. Mm -hmm. By that time sasa ndio nilikuwa nimeigia it ni cause ni maliza nikiwa na 17 mm -hmm. cause dad alinipeleka before my age. Mm. So by that 18 ikiisha hivyo 18 mimi huyu jamaa tumechapatana na yeye na niko kwa dadagu hata alikuwa anakuja kwa dadagu anasema mimi mkiona Charlotte tuko tu na yeye alikuwa Fred wao sana mm. so 
Mimi before ifike hiyo tukawa marafiki but by the end of first year nikajikuta sasa mimi niko na boro yake. Wacha dadi yangu asikie hivyo. Na yeye ndiye alikuwa ana provide ya everything. Alisikia vibaya sana lakini kama pia dadi what we like to imetedeka. Wacha tu sababu ananipenda na anataka tukae pamoja wacha tu tukae pamoja. Mm -hmm. Akasema basi nimekubali naye jamaa akaenda kwa my dad akamwambia akasema mimi sina vita lakini ukipata hiyo mtoto urudi college mimi nitalipa mpaka umalize alikuwa baba mzuri my dad was very good i miss yeah. him even today yeah. than my mom he is the one who brought me up na siku ana miss anything eh yeah. so tukaka baba akaniruhusu tukaenda tukaishi na jamaa sasa tu wakati nilipata huyo first born mm -hmm. akaniuliza sasa vile wewe unapenda tu kurudi shule una ungetaka tupate watoto wangapi mm -hmm. nikamwambia mimi kwa namba yangu naweza tapenda tu tukue na tutoto tutatu akaniambia oh, baba yenu alikubali eh, wewe ukaishi na yeye eh, eh sababu nilimuelezea eh, akaniambia lakini mahali utalemewa urudi shu. shule uendelee na college mimi nitamaliza kukulipia nikamwambia no, no, baba wa kitambo they were good <laughs> so my dad na dad yangu alikuwa ameokoka mama alikuwa ameokoka mimi kwetu sijaiona vita ya mama na dad walishi oh. vizuri i miss their that marriage ah, wakati pia ulikuwa mtoto mzuri si kuwa mbaya i tell you but I, bad companies <laughs> eh. spoil the good moro wa makalakta moro ka, uh, no huh? mm, the good character is spoiled eh. by the bad, bad character mm, yeah. that is sababu haikuwa time yangu ya kuwa na, na boma eh. so mimi <laughs> unanishekelea mimi tukakaa tukaongea tupate tutoto tutatu basi nikasema na mimi sita take hiyo time watu wana unakaa five years uh -huh. unakaa 10 upate huyo mwingine nilimwambia uh -huh. mimi wacha sasa nipate hiyo watatu mara hata wangekuja mara moja ningeo stop hapo yeah. so nilipata watu wengine haraka haraka ndio nirudi wapi uh -huh. college uh -huh. na hiyo ndio ilitendeka nilipata hao watoto haraka mm. haraka Three. so kwani ulikuwa unawapata na miaka gapi 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 bili. ilikuwa ya miaka gapi bili watu watatu eh uh, two, two, two years eh hey. miezi si, miaka sita ulikuwa na watoto watatu eh uh, exactly na uh, sikuwa nimefikisha 20 nilikuwa nimefikisha 27 years sikuwa uh, nimefikisha eh uh, so mimi nikawalea sasa saide nilipata mtoto aliona niko na la, na, 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 na nini niko na, na bolo ya that that huyo wa mwisho mm. Aka, eh, akaanza kubadilika huyo jamaa Aka, na alikuwa aki alikuwa engineer kwa serikali alikuwa gana pewa pesa mingi akabadilika akaanza kukunywa nini pobe bila kuogopa mm. alikuwa anakunywa mpaka anakuja the following day fita ikaanza kwa nyumba na sasa hiyo katoto hata kakotuka hivi mimi nikaanza kuchiuliza gai hii maisha kwanza kwani niliingilia ni ya kwa shetani mimi sijai kuona mrefu kwetu mm. sijai ona pobe nilikuwa anaingia tu kwa mlango na sikia nyumba imebadilika hewa imebadilika aki nikashukia that life nikai nikashukia nikarigire nikaanza kurigirete why did i Why did mm. I give my life to the wrong person? Because even before I knew a man, I, I was saying in my heart, God, I will never fall in the hands of a man that is married. Just help me na sikuwa nimeokoka. Nilikuwa nasema hivyo. So, akaanza kunichapa mimi nikaenda kwa maidani nikamwambia vile huyo jamaa anafanya. Mm -hmm. Dadi akaniambia Usikubali kushapwa. Nimeshai kukushapa hapana. Watoto ni baraka na ni gift ya Mungu. Asikushape uru ukuje kwangu. Mm -hmm. Utamtutalea watoto ni baraka. <laughs> Mimi siku moja huyo jamaa alinichapa. Nikamwambia wacha kunichapa tu wacha tufanye kazi because niku, nilikuwa nafikiria ama ananichapa sababu sina job mm -hmm. ama ananitaza sababu sina kazi. Nikajitea nguvu nikalea haka kadogo nikakalea. Sasa tule twingine ka first born nikakubwa tu kakona four years haka kegine kakona Aha, hako kakubwa kakona six haka kegine ko haka sasa last boni kamepata kamekuwa na two years mm. by the faith by the love of god and by his favor sababu nilikuwa napenda kukaa na watoto sana 
Mimi niliogea na tisha moja. Nkamuliza mtu anaweza fugua shule yake because sasa niliona maybe ananitesa course sina job. Mm -hmm. Sina job. Na ulikuwa umesoma. Na nilikuwa tu nimesoma nilikuwa na nilikuwa uh, my, my need kwa great my vision even to date mm. vision yangu haijakufa mm. i still mm. trust in the lord that mm. one day he'll make it happen yeah bona haribadilika tu haribadilika because mm. kuna things he used to hide from me one day dada yake cause alikuwa manager judicial family yao wale walikuwa wanakaa huko hata sitaki alikuwa na kaa moja mm -hmm. tukakutana na yeye tu jioni jioni akaniambia ya habari mzuri he watu watoto wako wako wazima eh akasema na mdomo wake he, I hope Mungu atafanya hao wakae kama wale wengine wa Kim alikuwa anaitwa Kim. Nikamuliza kwani alikuwa na watoto wengine. Mm. Ajai kukuambia ushangu. Mm. Ushangu alikuwa naye lakini na ni huyo wake akafukuzwa na mama. Mhm. Hapo ndio nilikuja God. Mm. Kuja alikukube alikuwa na na vile nilikuwa naambia Mungu usikae kubali mimi niaguke kwa mikono ya mtu wako na family whether mm. ni wameachana mm. ama sitaki nataka tu god when you created me you knew my life mm -hmm. hata kama sikuwa nimeokoka wakati wao sikuwa najua bible sana mm -hmm. i know you have what is mine not others but what comes from you and you give me so nika nikajua sikumuuliza mimi naye connection za mungu ni za nani akanipatia akanipatia tisha kunipatia tisha nikamuuliza what will i do ni nifugue ni shule akaniambia zile process nitaenda akanisaidia huyo tisha akanisaidia do you know ili kasta na ka fast class ibo nikakifikisha nini hiyo 2 years dio yede ifike na half by the grace of god nilifugua nilifugua nursery school Mhm. Mm Nilisaidiwa na hiyo tisha baka nikafugua nursery school. Nilienda nikapata boma iko na rooms kama hizi tatu hazina mtu. Compound haina ingine ni hiyo tu. So akanipeleka kwa mwenye hizo plot tukaongea na yeye akasema kama ni shule hakuna shi no problem. Mimi nilienda nikahadikisha hiyo nursery kikuyu na nikaambiwa go ahead. Kikuyu tu ile. Mm -hmm. This place is not very new to with me tulikuwa tunaka uthiru so wakati nilienda nikafugua shule mm -hmm. nilifugua kino mimi i'm not very new here niko used sana na hii praise okay. because hata wakati tuliachana nilienda home nikaka home kwetu mm -hmm. baadaye na akakuja home akaambia my dad mimi sasa mimi sitaki mimi nimesikia sita sitaki tuendelee na charity nikamwambia yes uweze endelea na because you know you are married at your home ushago uko married uko na huku niambia wakati hey. dadi yangu alisikia hivyo alimwambia go and na uende na usikawai rudi kwa ile gate ati unakujia charity hey, uende hey. kabisa miaka sita haukujua ah si kujua haki ni dada yake alifanya nijue akuniambia he was a hypocrite. Mhm. Mm Kukae Sasa mimi tukafugua shule. Na Mungu is God is so la, laughing and caring. Mm -hmm. Mimi ali, wakati nilifugua shule nikapata watoto. Huyo mama wa hiyo boma alinipatia unaona hizi forms mlefu. Zile bao zile za kukalia mlefu yeah. inakuwaga na mguu hapa na ikine pale mm -hmm. unakaa hivi. Mm -hmm. Alikuwa nazo akanipatia. So nikapata 10 kids first time na nika advertisement about that nini that academy so nikakuja nikamwambia unajua mimi nimepata watoto lakini sina shares zao na sina this and this blackboard whatever jokes i need all this utanisaidia tu wakati alisikia ni shule akasema nitakusaidia hiyo ni idea mzuri mm. na kwa bia, within one year watoto walikuwa wanatolewa shule zingine wanaletwa kwa niliajili walimu niliajili teachers wa kunisaidia nilikuwa sasa na baby class nini nasari na hiyo pp1 nilikuwa na hizo baka nne kwa hivyo nilikuwa na watoto wanaingia stud 1 kwa hiyo wow. kwa hiyo walikuwa walimu nimeajili ungekuja huko ugeamini even today hmm. nobody believes that charity. <laughs> Her name is Mercy. 
and thank the Lord because I am alive. Mm. So, niliajili teacher tu shule ilikuwa fever ya Mungu nilikuwa naleta hata watoto wa maaskari mm -hmm. na wafundisha huko. Nayo grace ya Mungu ni nini? Alikuwa amenipa hiyo kibari, hekima, humbleness. So, yani kwa niko so social na hata wa parent. Wakati ningewaita walikuwa wanakuja tunaongea na wanafurahi. So, one time Mm -hmm. Ni wasasi, mm -hmm. walimu walikuwa wananipenda, watoto wote walikuwa wananita, teacher charity. Mm -hmm. So that year, ndi answer to the, by the third term, ilikuwa imejaa hivi. Hata wasasi wengine walikuwa wanakuja kuwa price sasa, ya second year, nipate watoto. Na likuwa na watoto na fudita hata wa maaskari, hata wa uko kino, wajifata, walikuwa wanakuja uko. Mm -hmm. Wow, before sasa, tukafunga shule, tukafugua watoto wali wali hata uniform nilikuwa nimeshagua kala yangu walikuwa na blue na, mm. na kuna watu walikopi hiyo uniform kozo wakati niliwasha hiyo shule kuna watu walishukua hiyo uniform wakafugua shule yao na hizo nini uniforms mm. so wakati tuliludi sasa jana wale watoto walikuja wengi so mm. nikaona hapa sasa natakiwa niite mkutano wazazi wakuje tuoge wajue Conditions za shule, lulusu za shule, na mahitaji ya shule vile hiko kama ni kupikiwa, tua, tuangalie kama watoto watapikiwa huko, ama ni kubeba snacks, whatever kind of. Unaona sasa nikasema siku hii, wazazi wote nikawadikia balua kutakuwa na meeting ya wazazi mm. na walimu wote. Wazazi sasa unajua wakiitwa shule ya wakatagi. So nikasema, because I am not alone in this, business or in this mm -hmm. job. So, I have now to introduce baba ya watoto wangu hata na wasasi wajue sifanyagi kasi hii nikiwa pekea. There is somebody that is behind me anani, mm -hmm. anani push. Nikuwa naeda na, na pesa kwa nyumba guy. Mm -hmm. Nikuwa na mununulia nikuwa hata na mununulia nini. Unaona hizi shops za maguwa za menzi, hizo tu kama igine. Nikuwa inaitua jilis Sijui kama mwanajua. Eh hey, hizo. Alikuwa anga msimati. Eh hey, na chat alikuwa anapenda hizo. Nilikuwa tukipata pesa na pea walimu pesa zao. Hivyo mahitaji nalipa nyumba. Ili inabaki naenda ya town na wanunulia watoto wangu na wanunulia toys za kila aina na yeye pia. Eh hey, that week tunakula tu nyama ya kuku. Ijinia. Hata na santi. <laughs> This world. Ay 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 wonder. <laughs> so mimi <laughs> I tell you tukawa na mkutano sasa. Nikamwambia, sasa niko na mkutano leo na alikuwa na ngali by the way. Mm -hmm. Aha, mimi sasa leo niko na mkutano wa wazazi na walimu. Si ukuje tu ni kuintroduce kwa wazazi wasionange kama niko tu peke yangu. Akanyambia, nitakuja after niki mkimaliza mutaka sana nikamwambia hapana. Basi ni by sana ni nitaenda job. Mm -hmm. Alikuwa anafanya Hiyo plaza. Hiyo plaza unaijua. Community pale juu. Mm. Mm. So. <laughs> Aka kuja. Aka. Sasa wazazi za ine ni kwa nimesema. By 11 ni mwemume kuja na mw, by before 12 mwemume eda. Mana siyo mabomegi dio. Tupange yeah. mambo ya lanchi watoto wasichelewe kukula. Yeah. It happened like that. Wazazi walikuja tu. At the light time. Sa hile tu sasa. Wameketi, ni wasalimie, was, wa, wa, walimu tuko nao hapa. <laughs> Nikafikia, ni miagari kwa barabara. Tulikuwa tu kwa barabara. Nikajua huyo mutu. Nikuwa najua, gari yetu vile ina toanga sauti. Mm -hmm. So, nijua ni yeye. Ebu ni kwa bie. Unaona ile geti ya shule? Mm -hmm. Alikuja, akaigia na gari kwa hiyo geti. Hakutoka. Ili gokwa ikalala chini akatembelea juu na ngali akakuja baka mahali wazazi walikuwa wazazi walisimama kabisa kwani huyu ni mwenda wa simu wacha hakusimama hata hakutaka nimwambie niambie ni muintroduce kwa parents aliingia kwa classes akitoa hizo guy hizo nini hizo vitu hizo viti hizo viti za watoto na zilikuwa zimeudwa vizuri sana alikuwa na chika na toa toa na meza zo, gai, zote zote alienda kipuja na huku hakuogea na wazazi 
Kai, mtu mlikuwa umewageneana na kuja, akakuja kufanya hivyo. Ah, kilikuwa nimemwambia please, kuja ni kuitorojozi kwa wazazi wenye watoto na fundisha hata wewe wakujue. At least waone hata mimi niko na mtu ananizaidia, ananizaidia anga. Uh -huh. Kaniambia nitakuja. Alikuja akiwa mlevi alifuruga yani hakuna hata chokula alikuwa anazitupa huko unaona vitu za white zinaenda kwa hewa i tell you wazazi vile waliona hivyo akichukua bawa anagogesha kwa ukuta mzazi alikuwa anashika mtoto wake wakienda wakienda kulibaki tu watoto wale washache wazazi wao hawakuweza kukuja kama waaskari wale wazazi wao walikuwa maaskari hawa sauti mm -hmm. Wazazi, wale walikuwa watoto wazazi wao ni askari hawa sasa hao ndio walibaki na walibaki wakilia wakati wazazi wa Rieda akaingia kwa gari akae hata hakuniogelesha mimi nikabaki na kale kalasi boni kabu kadogo tu nimekashika mkono hata ako kalikuwa na uniform ya hiyo shule mimi mimi aki niliambia god open the world na washe in message tu Waki nilijitha lao. Umejai, yani unasikia hakuna aja kuishi hii dunia. Mi nilifika tu mchu wangu nikabia mungu hata staki kuishi tena. Iu ilikuwa my hope. Ilikuwa everything. It was my joy. Kozi niliona sasa hapa. Hata my daddy nikimfili ya nasikia niko na shule ya nashagilia. Haa mm -hmm. kufanya mbuli kunisomecha. Haki hapa na mtu anajitolea tu na ni mtu hakona mshu hala mkubwa. Kuja kuharibu. My dream. Wazazi wakaenda. I tell you, the following day, nilieda ni kagoja watoto. Hakuna mtoto walikuja. Chule yagu ilisha hapo. Ilisha hapo, na hapo, na hapo. Wa, kwa hivyo wazazi waliona maajabu? Waliona maajabu mchana. Waliona giza mchana. Ni ukweli juu, mtu wakua maigia na gate, eh, motif kama kuhu eh, na watoto hapa, si hata, hata agia wawua. Hata haku jari, alireta hiyo gari, prrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
teachers wakaenda watoto wale wengine wakashukuliwa tuligojea wakuja wabebo wakaenda mimi nika bebo wangu tukaenda home tukakuta ameshaenda job like, mimi nilikuwa tu nasikia nimeisha alienda job jioni akakuja alikuja tu za kama saa tatu na hiyo ngari yake akaingia mulevi huko mm. tulikuwa tunakaa mm. sasa hiyo unajua ladrod alikuwa anamjua ulevi wake alikuwa anamwambia ukiharibu unaripa ladrod yule alikuwa anamjua hata sasa hii ukienda huko mtaje huyo mtu alikuwa anamsubua sana kwa plot yake hata kwambia anamjua hata nikienda hapo nikupeleke hata utaona tu ananisalimia vizuri anajua vile kwetu kulikuwa ga moto kulikuwa ga hell mm-hmm. so akakuja eh akanambia watu wako halienda watu wako halienda nikamuuliza watu gani au ulikuwa unaniitia nikuja niwaone nikamwambia si ni wazazi ni wazazi wa watoto wale nafundishaga na unaonanga zile vitu na nunuanga afta kupata pesa huko akaniambia sitaki hizo pesa tena guy shule iliisha hivyo the following day kafuka kafika akaenda job mimi nikapanda kino nikakuta watoto hawa hakuna mtoto alikuja so kila kitu ni kumalizia na nikasema hiyo imeisha hata wale kumi. hata wale kumi. hawa kukuja the following the, nini the following day ilisha hivyo hivyo tu within a twinkling of an eye ilikuwa imeisha hakuna hata mmoja alikuja hakuna hakuna walienda wakiseme sana vile kumekuwa So wa, unajua wazazi ni wale wale. Kuna wale walisema mnaweza rudi huko mkuta watoto wao wenu wamekatakatwa na huyo mzee. Ilifika hapo. Yo na walimu. Walimu tuliachana tu na hao hiyo siku. Tulienda the following day nikawaambia sasa mmeona siku penda kwangu. Mmoja alilia hapo. Alikuwa ameolewa tu hapo kino akana sasa chalitini mimi nitafanya nini? Nitaenda wapi? Kosi naye alikuwa angana bwana anamsubua alikuwa na, anaona hiyo tu pesa anapata hapo tu ikwa tunamsaidia kununulia watoto fu nikamwambia mimi sasa sina otherwise na sifugui ingine shule kufugua imefika mwisho hapo unless ni Mungu atanipatia direction some here I was but not here shule yote walikuwa almost 100 kosi ni four classes he ikwa napata do nikuwa tulikuwa tunakaa vizuri he hakukuwa kuna kosa kuku kwa nyumba tena watoto wako walikuwa nakaa hiyo life ya hali ya juu ya juu hata leo anakubukaka so mimi ikaisha hivyo that bro yake alikuwa ameenda mahali kunaitwa muguga muguga na huko akanunua shamba huko akamwambia sasa bro hama huko huko umehaibika sana kuja saidi hii kuja nitakusaidia ununue kashaba ka huku kuje ujenge huko akaona ni vizuri na kwambia the time i decide kununua shamba huko muguga tulikuwa tumeteseka na food ati tukimuuliza anasema mimi nalipia shamba huko tuhamie huko tuseme tulienda tulika six months tunakuraga ugali na sukuma kila jioni kila jioni kila jioni watu walikuwa wanakula kila eh kila jioni mimi nilikuwa naona nakulaga nyama huko peke yake na <laughs> sisi alikuwa nakuja ku enjoy na masukuma hapo na nikuulize kidogo mm. turudi nyuma kidogo mm. hakuna wazazi walikupigia baadaye wakwambie pole tuliona vile ilifanyika tulirudi kukutana na wengine huko kwa barabara kunao nilienda home kwao hiyo siku tukiwa na tisha mwingine tukawaelezea tu pole lakini wakati wakaniuliza chalitiza tutafanya nini nikawaambia faida na za kuvisi because what will i do ilienda tu hivyo mm. so wakati alianza kununua machaba na huko muguga huko mnakula tu ugali ugali <coughs> na sukuma jioni na ni watoto wadogo ugali sukuma ugali baka aja ya 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 hiyo hiyo life sijai kuiona aki tukaidharau nikadharau hiyo life sasa ikafika siku huyo mbra yake akamwambia sababu kunu, umenunua kumaliza kununua kuja urent nyumba huku utoke huko ujegage ukiwa karibu siku ilifika tutoke huko twende mgoga kule amenunua shaba na amenunua kweli iko tuka 
akalienti nyumba huko kinyumba kibaya kama ya ushago ndio tulienda kukaa huko <laughs> gai haki niliona maisha baya gai hakuna kitu kibaya kama kutoka kwa life nzuri <laughs> life iko bright unapelekwa kwa life iko na gi yeah na gi hiyo life ni difficult i thank god because he saved me now i lean on the heart of jesus christ not i don't lean on anybody's heart but in christ jesus who has sustained my life up to mm. now because if it were for men me na jua gani ngecha kufa kitambo okay so wakati tulienda huko mm-hmm. kama i first born kalilia akakuwa yeah. kanataka tu because they could see how their dad was treating me mm. wasa kwa wakubwa sasa eh kako na eight Yeah. Ata sijui kama alikuwa ah, amefikisha hate. Yeah. Alikuwa na alikuwa hapo. Walikuwa tu hivi hivi hata kukaa sana. Yeah. Wakati yule ilija sasa brother yake alisikia hiyo hata haibu. Mm. Akamwambia tokea haibu ya huko. Tukaenda that same year. Ndio ifike end of the end ifike December tukakaa huko. Hebu nikwambie wakati tulienda huko, tuseme tulienda kama August. Kwenda August kukaa huko nini muogana nyumba ya kurentiwa aki ni kama tulienda hell alitutesa uh-huh. alikuwa anaenda weekend nzima hakuji na huko mimi ni mgeni hakuna mtu anatujua hatuko karibu na hiyo brother yake ni bali kiasi tunawacha bila chakula by the time ninakumbuka nilikuwa nimegojeka kifua lakini nilikuwa nimepatwa na ile inaitagwa inaitagwa aje ile kifua ile ile baya inaitagwa aje ile watu wanakunywanga dawa 6 month sidano 6 anga 3 month pneumonia ah uh-uh, si pneumonia kuna ingine very inakuwa gaba sana unapeangwa sidano 3 month mm. na dawa unakunywa 6 month mm. if you miss to, to nini to swallow those medicine one day hiyo month ifike si pneumonia si pneumonia pneumonia inaitagwa tb tuberculosis mhm mm. ilikuwa imenishika ilikuwa oh. imenishika so wakati tulienda nika go check nika guy nilikuwa karibu kumalisika nilikuwa naambia mungu sasa unaniua hawa watoto na unaona vile nimeteseka na wataachiwa nani mm-hmm. na kwambia december ilikaribia christmas ikakaribia somebody akadisapia tukakaa huko ni wageni sijui mtu sijui nani mimi guy karibu tukufie Mama wa hiyo boma ndiye alikuwa anatupatia chakula. Mama wa hiyo nyumba. Aki. Kai. Alikuwa anatuletea tajiri. Anakubali. Mm, Mtu ijini ya mzima. Aliuza hata gari. Ndio wajenge. Si akujenga. Na nyumba atajenga. Akujenga. Uh-huh. Alikuwa anataka tutoke huko akatutesee hmm. huko hajulikani. Na kwambia kuna siku moja siku moja watoto sasa hawa haka kalikuwa ka last born kalikuwa kameenda kameenda kame, kalipelekwa wanu huko primary ya huko ya ya za public hizi kakapelekwa kakaingia class 1 kale kingine kako 3 huyu mwingine ako 4 alichapia kwa nyumba mpaka nikasale nikasikia tu nitakufa na hakuna kile ananiuliza hmm. by the way He was my first man. He was my everything because he was the only person that I knew. My closest friend. Mutule na za share in the mutule ananjua mutule na mjua. Hakuna mwingine maisha ni mwangu. Na sasa ukiteswa hiyo vyote. Na wazazi walikuwa na upendo sana kwako. Mbona ukakubali ifike hapo? Ili ifike hapo nilikuwa natarajia because sasa tumepata chamba tutaenda at least mimi nijikipubisi na shamba na ile shamba akiendaga tuko hapo mm-hmm. mm. tu nilipendaga hizi miji sana peace mm-hmm. nipande kwa zilikuwa na kamtalo ya maji na teremuka hivi na nikapanda na zikamea wakati zilikuwa zinaanza siwe life ya kutoa siku hiyo dialini alikuwa ananichapa baka na bao nilikuja kuokolewa na rad road na nakuchapia nini hakuna Hakuna sikuwa na mkosea. Sikuwa mimi namfanyia madhambi. Nilikuwa nataka tu sababu of my kids I could bear anything. Hata imagine alikuwa ananiambia ati 
Sasa nini ni watu wa kukaa nani? Watu wanaona gadhiri inches kama hizi. <laughs> Ti tulikuwa tunaona gadhiri inches kama hizi. Can you imagine? Ati unaona gadhiri kutoka kwa macho unaona gadhiri inches kama hizi. Na si alikuwa na juu alikuwa na perform vizuri, alikuwa naona mbali shule. I tell you the spirit of Jesus is very very bad. Mm. Very bad. Alikuwa ananionea with God. Unajua? Nikwambie kama angekuwa mtu tuko pamoja. Unaona hiyo ah, utherogenesis. Sasa ugekona. Unaona utherogenesis. Mm. Tugekuwa maybe tumeachana kiasi. Tugekuwa na mafuradizi unaona zimejengwa huko na kinoo na huko na huko huko hapa. Tugekuwa na kila kitu na maproti yetu, tugekuwa na everything unaweza penda. I tell you <coughs> ilifika sasa wakati wale ni chapa nikasikia no sasa si tabe again sasa by that time daddy alikuwa ameenda home nyeli wakati huyo alikuwa na ngoga hivyo jioni watoto wakakuja walikutatu niko tu muziki na ananita patu nikiwa mgojwa sasa ako kakubwa kakaniuliza mama kwa nini nini nikamwambia sisikii vizuri so nilie dahosi na nikapewa nikapewa dawa na sidano hizo hizo za mtu anadungwa that una una kadri month kama unadungwa sidano mpaka ni mwili wangu karibu ujaye sidano mm. so wakati nilisikia niko sasa unaona amenichapa na niko mgojwa na haka kakubwa hata haka kakubwa nikienda hospitali kalikuwa kananichika mkono hizo ni dio niende nidungwe hapo kwa hozi tunarudi mm. home so siku hiyo alinichapa sana nisikia sasa nitakufia huko wazazi wangu watakuja kunitafuta wapi na hata kule walikuwa wanaanza kutrezi wakuje hata huyo dada yangu atuko huko mm-hmm. so one day nikaambia Mungu tu nisamehe sababu wanapenda watoto wacha ni disappear one day haki nilikuwa na shida moyo wangu ulikuwa na shida kutoka kwa nyumba ni wacha watoto lakini niliona hapa if i don't go mm-hmm. nitakufia kwa hii nyumba watoto wakitoka shule wakute mimi nimekufia kwa nyumba na vile sasa wameingia shule wacha tu at least one nitoke ni tu niende home mimi nilienda alikuwa mimi nilienda home na nilikuwa nimeambia kwa kakubwa asubuhi mimi nitaenda kwa shoshu in case ukitoka shule mnikose msisubuke nitaenda nitakuja ke kesho sasa hapo nilikuwa najua dadi yao anakuja atakuja mapema ataka Haku anachelewa sana huko ni bali. So mimi nikaenda na nikamwambia kikuja mwambie tu nimeenda kuona shoch. Wakati huo watoto wako na miaka gapi? Huyo alikuwa class 4. Huyo mkubwa. 4. Four huyo ni mtu wako na miaka 8. Na huyo mwingine? Kalikuwa 3. Mhm. Aka kingine kalikuwa kameingia tu before miaka m- ifike watoto walikuwa na wasomesha mimi home ye, ye, ye. alikuwa analipa walikuwa na kujua na gari ni bani shule ilikuwa tu next hapa oh, eh okay. hakuna mahali wanabebwa mm. nilikuwa tu karibu mm-hmm. hapa tu so siku hiyo nilienda home ndio nilienda nikaambia my parent what is happening na mahali imefika na vile amekumeenda na vile niko mgonjwa babangu akasikia vibaya kabisa kabisa akaniambia fanya hivi enda nilikaa two days enda uangalie watoto mkuje na ukuje nao utakuta nimekugojea tukakaa two days na nikamwambia nitaenda na hawa ili wakaone chocho yao ujue hawajai kuwaona ni pefia alinipea pia tukaenda baka nyingi tukatokezea kufika huko nikaambia dadi sirudi huko jipange tukakaa by that time shule zilikuwa zimefungwa maybe agasti hapo sasa tukakaa tukakaa agasti kaisha 
shule sikafunguliwa September akaona hatuendi alijileta mpaka huko wakati alikuja huko home mm, unajua kwetu hata nikikwambia saa hii mahali iko utaenda hata bila kuuliza utafika tu ni barabarani mm-hmm. so akakuja akakaribishwa tukakaa akalala akalala wapi kwa nyumba ya brother yangu he kuna ndaga hivyo kwa kikuyu mimi unajua sasa mimi sijui watu wa huko vile huko unaona kwetu ni nyali yeye ni mkikuyu mimi kwao ni muranga we alila nyumba ya bro yangu unajua alifika mazaya jioni na sasa atugeeda ah so kikuyu anasamaga unafaa kuenda kwa hiyo aloko town ukalale huko yeye yeah, alilala huko sasa mimi sijui huko ni kama hakuna hiyo desturi therefore in day kaniambia mujipange twende mimi nikajua nikirudi huko especially this time nime nilikuja tuka tukakaa shule sikafunguliwa huyu ataenda kuniua nikaambia ma mimi sirudi hata nafsi yangu inanikataza kurudi na yeye babaangu akanikamwambia mimi sitarudi na akasema lazima bebe wa watoto wakuje warudi shule mimi nikamwambia ziwedi na we mimi nilifeel kabisa kabisa na kwa sababu hiyo siku alikuwa amenichapa aliniwekelea panga hapa na niliangalia matres hivi ya bed nikakuta kisu mlevu ameweka hivi nikajua hii ndio nitakuja kuuawa naye ndio ile nifanye hata niwe na that college ya kwenda home so wakati alisem i insist watoto lazima waende shule baba alimwambia enda upeleke watoto shule lakini chaliti haendi enda uwapeleke shule warienda wakati arienda akafika kwa geti akarudi akaambia mzee umesema hati gathani tu siende naye akaambia uende na uende ukiendaga hiyo geti usikawahi kurudi nayo gathani ulimchukua kwa takataka street za Nairobi ulimpiki huko akikula hivi 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 kwa mapipa si ulimtoa kwa chule uende na hiyo geti na usikawahi rudi nayo kama niko uhai akaenda akaenda na watoto my children could understand why i was doing that because waliona ngai ile fita nilikuwa nafumilia kwa nyumba watoto wako kata mhm walikuwa wanapenda shule wakaenda tu wakaenda tu na yeye alikuwa nawapenda yeye hakuwa nawatesa na alikuwa nawanunulia wakaenda mm-hmm. na walienda wakarudi shule wakaenda but before wakati walienda mimi nilikuwa na meza dawa bado za TB wakati walienda wakaenda shule walikuwa bali tulikuwa tunakaa tulikuwa <coughs> ladrod ni mama alikuwa tu tulikuwa marafiki wakati huo tulikuwa so alikuwa tu hata na yeye anawaangalia tu anaona vile kunaendelea na sababu huyu baba ya watoto wangu alikuwa marafiki na huyo mumama mama amekomaa sasa alikuwa anamheshimu hivyo hivyo so mimi wakaenda wakarudi shule mimi nikakaa pale nilikuwa na time yangu that after two weeks kurudi kirini kinachukua hizo dawa so my dad nikamwambia ni pefe ya niende Nairobi niende ni pick nini dawa zangu za hizo hiyo pb aso boy mapema sana 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 brother yako alikuwa amenitafutia um, hizi nini zinakujaga town hizi personal hizi hizi zinaitwa nini hizi personal dogo lakini zinabeba watu za kwenda na kurudi lakini ni kama personal mm. zinaenda bio kuliko kuliko matatu mm. so ili nikujia kwetu half past 5 asubuhi nikabebwa na hiyo nikachukishwa nini huku town kushukichwa town pale tilum nikapanda mpaka pale ile hosi inaitwa road zile inaiti huwa inatibu mm-hmm. tuberculosis nilikuwa niko very weak but i knew wao watoto wangu wanaendelea vizuri saa ile sasa nilienda nikarudi tena nikachukua ndawa zangu sasa nikajua niko the last month ya kuchukua hizo da, dawa kwa hivyo nilijua sasa mambo yangu sasa ya, ya madawa inaisha so kama ina, ninamaliza hiyo kitu imeisha hata nilikuwa nasikia niko okay kwa kifua So wakati ule nilikujia saa za za za, za mwisho three, after the demands sasa niliambia dadi sirudi mimi naenda kuchukua dawa lakini sirudi huko naenda baka home kuona watoto mimi nilienda nikashukua dawa 
Nikasema before ni the home. Washa ni the hiyo plaza. Kule alikuwa nafanya job. Hey. Uh -huh. Kwa yao. Watu wale walikuwa nafanya job. Walikuwa, na ye ma, ma colleagues waka wali ni pedaga. Sana. Walikuwa, wakati tulikuwa anga hapa udhiru. Nikiwa hmm. shule. Walikuwa wanakuja kwetu weekend. Na wapikia shapu. Mokimo, nyama, walikuwa wanapenda kukuja huko. Hakuna wikendi ilishaga bila wageni. <laughs> and I like it. Na hapa unaenda kufanya nini? Naenda kumwambia nimekuja. Kufanya nini? Kuona watoto wangu. Nikaenda huko. Kwani alikuwa na wao hapo kazini? Mm -mm. Kwa siku anataka anikute huko. Oh, ulikuwa na babaru. Oh, ulikuwa na mjulisha. Naenda home kuona watoto. Eh, kwa hivyo, akitoka job wa juu wageni, ata nikuta wapi? Hei, hata huko huku we, utaenda. Kwa huko, nini mwoga? Mm -hmm. Sasa, si nimetoka nye, nimechukua dawa, nini? Mm -hmm. Lodis. Nikapanda, nikaenda hapo, nini? Plaza. Nikapanda juu, alikuwa naka, anafanya third floor. Nika mkuta huko. Kwa ofisi, hakisho la hizo madrafti zao, alikuwa anafanya. Inaita, hizi, nini si kubuki vizu? Structure or juice, architect, something like oh, that. Oh, he was architecture. Eh, architecture, he was a man. He drew a new one, he was a man, he was a man, he was a man, he was a man. So, he was a man. He was a man, he was a man. My colleagues were a man. We were a man, he was 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 a man. Sikuwa na hapeta hizi sababu ya madawa. Hizi kuku ulikuwa, ulikuwa na nunua. Ni madawa. <laughs> Umepata chance. E, ya kukula. E, Ko, oh, nikuwa, no. nilikuwa tu kwanza nifike e. nione my kids. E. Siye gie enjoy pe, kuku peke yangu. Mm -hmm. So, haka niuliza ni nini? Nika mabia na kuja kuona watoto wangu. Haka niabia umekuja kuona watoto. E, ujui niliwapereka AIC kajiado. Gai, niliaguka. Niliaguka hapa. Boarding. Boarding. AIC primary. Kajiado. Nikamuliza hata ule mudogo anatochea na hivi miaka tatu. Eh. Guy. Mimi nilisi. Umecha isikia kama mimi si niliona kama siko ungai. Sijui nini. Nikamuapia kwa nini na huku niyabia. Hmm. Haka niyabia ulibaki ukifanya nini. Hapo diyo zaza nilijua hatu, hatu kwa pamoja na uyu jamaa. Na saa hiyo ni jioni, siwezi rudi nyeli. Dadagu ule tulikuwa gatu na kaa na ee umoja. Wali hama umoja wakaeda kanunua puloti uko kuna hitu wakafati. Jia ya mulanga. Wako na puloti kubwa sana hata waleo hapo balabarani. Walikuwa meenda uko. Sasa nikachidwa nika nitafanya nini. Nika mwabia apana. Hata kama uliwapeleka ya isi. Mi lazima nifike humu. Dio ni. Nijue. Ni hakikiche kabisa. Siku nitaganya. Na nitaga. Ana nitaganya. Mi nilikuwa na fea agu. Nika panda baka uko mguwa. Nika eda haki nilikuwa. Haka nipea ya ufuguo. Nika eda haki nika kuta wako. Nyuba inaka kivi tu. Nika eda kwa huyo radrod ya ikuwa rafiki agu. Haka nyabia vile kulieda. Haka nyebi hata 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 vizuri wa ede pudding wa angaliyo kwa sababu Sometimes anakuja gaza hazaba ni mulefi Haa watoto ni Nika mwambia diyo na haku nyebia Nika sema nisa watu So Mimi Tukakaa kwa huyo mama huyo la viki yangu la adrod Baka jio ni kapisa Saa kama tatu diya rikuja Sasa kama saa hiyo saa tatu Mimi nikaeda. Nika mwabia kama umepeleka watoto AIC. Basi nyeleze mahali gali za huko AIC zihua. Sinashukuliwa matatu. Na nika jado saidigani. Nitapita, nitafika kajado tau na maha. Kani ambia pana ukiuliza AIC primary school. Ukiigia, haka nyeleze mahali mitashukulia ngali. Mutu anaesa ingia ngali za kuenda kajado. Haogopi, unazenda? Na uchukua watoto? Apana hagu wa naogopa. Unajua likuwa na nijua niko ino senti miyo mabwe machafu siku wa nayo. Ni hali ni haribu ye, di hali ni haribu uyo. So, 
Mimi asubuhi nililala kwa bed ya watoto wangu. The following morning nikajipanga nikarudi home. Nikaenda nikaambia dadi sio kupoa. Haki amenitupia watoto amewapeleka Kajiado mimi sijui Kajiado sijai kwenda huko hiyo IC sijui sijui. Eh kweli ulikuwa innocent. Eh hadi hadi unamuuliza hiyo shule iko wapi? Utachukua eh, gari gani? Eh na akaniambia eh. So mimi nikarudi home siku anafea kwenda huko nikaambia dad mimi nitavutie sasa pesa niende banka Kajiado Nairobi hakuna mahali na yasaonyeshwa nini mimi hata usiku na nini nilisoma nili sababu kusomea hiyo primary nini Saint Peter Clevers sasa tulikuwa tunaenda kila mahali So mimi dad yangu tulikaa kanipea do Kunipea do nikaeka nguo zangu kwa bag Nikaambia dadi mimi huko sirudi acha sasa wacha. let me sacrifice myself because of my children if i die now i die if i live i live lakini sitakubali my children wakae huko peke yao baba kanipa vya mimi kutokezea tu barabara hivi imagine god is so faithful mimi kulikuja kigari kikubwa hizi mapanchero makubwa ilikuwa ndio inavuma that time mimi nika ikazimama bali nilikuwa na ngojea matatu akaniambia unaenda wapi akamwambia mimi naenda Nairobi akaniambia hata mimi naenda Jomo Kenyatta kuchukua wageni huko niwarudishe na nyuki unaisaidia tu mimi sikufikiria he nitanguli nikapanda nini gari ya hizi za kupewa kwa barabara mimi nikaingia ilikuwa tu na driver gari ikateremuka ikateremuka nikamwambia nishukishe tu tukafika town kufika town nikamwambia niweke tu ti rumu ni pande hapo nichukue ngali za kajado akaniambia ni sawa mimi nikaupa oh, kupe alikuwa mtu mzuri yani alikuwa nimestuka aha huyu alikuwa mtu mzuri kabisa alinichukisha akaniambia wacha nipeleke hii yosho na hapa ndio nikachukue wageni ikiwa clean nikamwambia mm. asante sana nikamchotea 200 akunywa sonda alichukua mm Si ningeripa kama ni matatu. Mimi Mimi nikaingia ngali za Kajiado. Kube hiyo siku ilikuwa visiting day. Miujiza. Mimi nikaenda na vitu zangu nimebebea watoto hivi. Kufika tu huko. Nikiintroduce kwa walimu, mimi ni watoto wa fulani na wakaitwa wakafurahi. Gai nikaona watoto wangu wamekauka gai. Dakika kidogo ndiye huyu ilikuwa visiting day I, mimi ni kama ni kama tu miujiza Mungu dakika hiyo hiyo tu kuongea kidogo hapo na yeye akaingia na kabagi kake amekuja kuona wa si alinikuta pale tukiongea na watoto na kuambia alileta furugu kwa chule alinitukana kwa chule ali uuu kwa ni ni mtu aina gani alini mnaachana vizuri e, lakini mahali anakupata anakuwa kitu kingine kitu kingine kama chetani akanifunga huko paka nikapeleke wacheni tu niende nitakuja kuona kuona nadha time sababu sasa huku nikika nifita tu tutakuja kunini kuamulishwa na walimu hata hao walichanga kozi walikuwa wanarudi kuuliza estirili your mama akasema ndio na sasa mimi nikarudi kwa barabara nikaingia matatu matatu nayo ile niligia pale ni kama ilikuwa inapelekwa na mwenda wa simu ilikuwa inaenda viba nikamwambia tu Mungu nishikilie by that time mimi sasa si kuenda home nikaingia gari za kwenda hapo Alifu, shule alifuruga na njia gani kunitukana akiniambia na naweza kugonga mimi mpaka nikumalizie huko ulikuja huko kufanya nini eh na ana shout eh anku anaongea kwa pole pole baka watoto wakaanza kusarau di mahali tuko na walimu wakatokezea kwa maofisi kuangalia mimi nikaona hapa sio kuzuri ninamjua wacha nitoroke ni ende ste so when i reached to town nikachukua ngali za moranga nikashuka kabati kwa my sister nilienda nikakaa kwa sister yangu nikakaa kwa sister yangu nilikuwa nashomoka naenda AIC kama hajui nikiwa kwa sister yangu kosi alikuwa ananisaidia hata tuliendaga na yeye tunaona watoto tuna nawaambia tu fumdie yenu tu haitaishi it is not going to continue being like this so tunaenda tukakaa kwa dadaku so my my sister akanikamwambia si unitafutie job kwa marafiki wako sister yangu 
tukaanza kutafuta ngajobu na ye. So kuna mzee mmoja walikuwa mabeste yake na mwanake akamuuliza huyo dadako anaweza fanya hii kazi ya kufrontia akakuja akanyuliza maisita akanyuliza kama wamekutana naye akaniambia akamwambia die kama akamwambia acha nimuulize maisita akakuja akanyuliza unaweza fanya hizi kazi za kufrontia frontiering kuliko kukatu hivi hili at least usiwe unafikiria sana nikamwambia saidi nitafanya kube huyo mzee alikuwa anajua nanga na hawa watu wa red cross so watu wa red cross walikuwa na branch yao na huku dhika mimi nikapata job yangu wapi huko sasa ile nilienda wakanipatia nyumba tu kama hii kulikuwa na nyumba kama hizi nikapata nikapewa somewhere pa kukaa nikakaa huko nikifanya hiyo kazi ya street children walikuwa wanakuja wakienda walikuwa wanakuja kusaidiwa wakienda wakienda baadaye huyo mzee ndiye aliniconnect huko so mimi ikafika samu ya sasa nikasikia sitaki kukaa huko nikaambia si stagu wacha mimi nijaribu kwa sababu nimechaka kuatishia ni apply kazi ya nursery school nikiwa huko red cross huyo baba yao arieda akastaki kwa right of the child mimi nimekuwa mkora siangaliagi watoto kazi yangu ni kuzurura so watoto wamekuwa vichwa gumu sasa hata wamemchinda hmm? wamemchinda angetaka <laughs> ile chule inaitwa kirigiti kiabu waende wakaage wapi <laughs> kwa pere <laughs> na ni watoto <laughs> na akaenda akapewa barua kwa hiyo the should ni light of the show dama ni nini akaniletea baka huko kwa Red Cross. Ofisi ya Red Cross kuona barua kwa zililetwa huko wakasoma wakaniambia ni yangu. Kube naitwa Kirigiti mimi. Na si Kirigiti ninajua. Wakaniuza what is happening? Nikawa si niliwaambia tu story vile ilikuwa imeenda. Mm. Wakaniambia wewe tu ukiona imefika hapo jipe nguvu enda Kirigiti. Ozi nasema mkutane na yeye huko Kirigiti kwa watoto. Kirigiti inapeleka kwa wale vichwa vi, yani watoto wale hawaabiwi kitu wameharibikia na huko nje hmm. wanaenda huko kuvudi kukaa huko ni kama ni jela hmm. wanakaa huko krigiti watoto watoto hawana namna so unaweza peleka mtoto hata akiwa msuri haribikie wapi huko hmm. so mimi nilidecide nikaenda mpaka krigiti tulienda nikafika mapema akanikuta huko ofisi ilifunguliwa ilikuwa ni mama office officer wa hiyo ofisi ni mama kuingia nikamwambia nimekuja kwa simuliniita nika introduce my names and i love jesus is my lord and whatever i do mimi nafanyanga tu ya kunifaidisha na familia yangu akaniambia si hapa ni kiasa kutoa testimony si wanaza ona kama wewe ndio umeletwa <laughs> sasa wakaniuliza lazima ningemwambia i cannot feel ashamed because of me wherever i go i must confess is my lord and savior so mimi nikamwambia akaniambia si hapa naona ninaona badwa inasema tu ni mlefi una shida anga ukizurua unanga mambo ya hata ujui mtoto wako wana nikamwambia haki mimi mimi niko hivyo na saa hii nafanya kazi na alikuwa amedikisha hivyo Eh sidi alikuwa ndio apewa hiyo barua ni uh-huh. yatimi ni mkora. Uh-huh. Gai. Atimi ni mkora. Ndio wale Red Cross officer achukue watoto wangu wafungie huko kirigiti. Glory to God because I found another servant of God. She was saved. Nikamwambia akaniambia tayari ameokoka. Nikamwambia kama mimi nimeswa na watoto wangu how come ninaweza na na street children wa Nairobi. Akaniuliza kwani uko? Nikamwambia kwa Red Cross naweza chindwa na freak girls na ni deal na boys wakubwa sasa ile naandika kwa black board anakuja kuzimama nyuma yangu anajitoa anita na mimi aone kama tunatochana na anako na magamu huko na grace of god ilikuwa inanisaidia kuogea na whole kids baka nikitoka walikuwa wamebadilika wale nilikuwa walikuwa on my heart another korean called moses alikuja kwa hiyo akawajengea home huko maema hiyo hata sasa i think it is theodia 
akawajengea so by the time i was leaving hata yeye aliwabeba wakaenda huko akaniuliza would you like to go to alit with us nikamwambia no mimi sitaenda mahe mahe because i knew about my kid so by that time kirigiti tukakutana mimi nikapatia huyo mama my life my children's life up to where nimefika nilikuwa nimempea hiyo picha na wapea so nikamuuliza kama mimi nina deal na children na street children big boys and girls na haki wanasikia mimi Mungu ameleta that is the one and the reason and na wafudisha na unaona wana hata hizo sometimes wananiambia teacher hatutaki hizi vitu hata hazituzaidi wanaenda kutupa ningeenda soko alikuwa ananipeleka wote tunanunua vegetables tukirudi wanabeba jali ti hauti teacher hautabeba sige chokoswa na mtu kwa jata usiku mm. cuz walikuwa na wananiliza kama majeji wangu God is great. So, ule mama akaniambia unafanya na lady close. Napona huyu mtu wako na vituko na yeye saa hiyo wako ije akaitwa. Unatuambia mama ya watoto wako ni mkoa ana shida nga huku huku akienda aki kunini how comes anawezana na street children tutoto tutatu dia atashindwa zina hapa inaonekana wewe ndio uko na fujo utaki kufundisha hao watoto utaki kuwalipia shule. Mimi nikasema hiyo dia anataka lakini akaniambia unajua hii kesi ina, anataka tulete watoto hao tuwafungie huko nikamwambia ebu let me tell you officer if you bring my children here hata mimi munilete munilete tukaange nao hapo mimi nilimwambia hivyo aki kama mtawaleta hata mimi munipagi munipangie otherwise muashirie watu waachane na my kids mahali nitakuwa kama tutalalashini wala tulale pamoja kama tutaenda ja tuende pamoja kama tutalala nje tuna lakini hapa aki hawakuji nikiwa hai mama akasema shivari huyu mzee ako na shida sasa alikuja akapiga kere kwa ofisi akamwambia eh hey, mimi sisi siwezi kaangalia watoto wanisiki akabio wewe ndio husiki wewe ndio kwa usikiagi maneno Haiwezekani mama ya watoto wako anakaa na watoto wa street children. Wewe unaweza kaa na street children aliyoulizo. Wewe unaweza angalia hao watoto wa street children. Akabio tunajua unataka uruke kulipia hao kugarimia hao watoto mahitaji yao. So by now the office has declared ukitoka hapa sababu unasema hutalipa shule. Kama hutalipa hiyo shule si unafanya kazi kwa government and hii ni government. Kesho ukiwa kwa ofisi utatukuta hapo hiyo kasi utaiwasha ufungiwe until the last born afikije 18 years hey, the hunter become the hunted mm. kesi Ali, karudi kwake ikarudi kwake alitoka hapo akipiga kelele alitoka hapo akipigia mimi kelele hata kuenda dia moja mimi mm. aliniacha tu kwa ofisi nikaambiwa na hiyo madam eda una shida wewe nimeona kichwa bumu ni huyo na akikata ye ni ako kwa government na si tuko kwa government kwa hiyo ofisi atawacha job. Ataiwacha mpaka the last ya fikisha 18. Hiyo ndio iliniokolea Mungu. Mungu alikutetea mbele. Kabisa. Kabisa hapo ni Jesus Christ himself. So aka, mimi akaniambia rudi kwa kazi yako. Na yeye akaenda. After 3 days, huyo mm-hmm. madam wa ofisa huyo wa watoto alikuja kwa Red Cross ili ya confirm ni na kuanga wapi? na haku ameniambia niliona tu mtu ameingia kwa gate amenikuta hata tulikuwa lunch time tuko hapo wakati alikuja tu akaniona hata hakunisalimia sasa ile tu aliniona niko hapo akajua ni kweli mimi na kuagana street children akaenda kwa ofisi wakaongea akaenda nikasema asante Yesu so kufika hapo Mungu alinisaidia mimi sasa ile kanyuba nilikuwa nakaa shule walienda na wakaendelea na shule sasa hiyo mambo imeisha hata watalipia kuwalipia sasa ndio ile shaba tulikuwa tumeenda kule aliuza wakati alipeleka watoto ya isi aliuza hiyo shaba sijui pesa alipeleka wapi na tulikuwa tumefumilia kukula gima na na, na sukuma karibu mwaka so wakati sasa nikasikia niko at least nimesikia ni niko relieved somehow sababu mm. sasa nimesikia hiyo mambo imeisha 
Uh -huh. So kuanzia hapo shule sikifungwa nani my kids would come and stay with me. Kwa hiyo nyumba nilikuwa nimepewa. Oh si hawakuwa naenda kwake. Walikuwa wanaenda na alikuwa ananikataza niziende kuwaona. Ndio hata shule alikuja kunifurugia huko. Alikuwa anataka kunisparate kabisa. Ndio hata alikuwa ameenda huko awapeleke kirigiti wakaange huko kama sijuziko. Na huko anapelekwa kirigiti kuna oh. shule. Si ni kama tu home. Unaona? Watoto watolewe shule, wapelekwe eh, tu mahali. Ki, kijiji. Waisi. Unasikianga shule hiko nyeri inaitwa wamumu. Eh. Ina iko inapeleka ngo watu yeah, wale wamekuwa yeah. fishwa ngumu. Hawatoe shule wapeleke huko. Eh wa mumu yake abu. Ikweli yeye hakuwa nedi hmm? alikuwa na shida. Ni mtu mbaya. Yedi alikuwa na shida basi. Kichwa baya na hmm. mapobe anakunywa kama Mungu. Mahitaji yao ifike mwisho. Na walikuwa ngashia hapo kwa shule walikuwa gawa napita one one number one two hapo. Watoto wanapeleka huko ni watu ni watoto innocent ni watu wanajielewa wale wanapeleka kirigiti eh. ni watoto wale wanapikiwa huku unaona sasa kama wanye wanachukuliwa wanye mm, wametupwa na wazazi mm, wale wako huko ama street boy apelekwe huku mtoto ya, hana ya, wazazi ya, hana ya. watu wao mtoto amekat yani mfichi wa ngumu ni kama tu wezi wezi hivi mimi hey, guy hey, Mungu anakupenda hey, nilimuuliza guy yani watoto wangu wale hii kirigiti hii eh tutakuja kukaa nao so wakati ilifika hapo nikasikia niko raha sasa wangevuga shule walikuwa nakuja uh -huh. kwa my house tukaendelea naye Mungu ni mkuu na Mungu ni mwaminifu wakamali sana na hiyo nini primary wakarudi na huku wakaenda high school tu akifuatana huyu mdogo akiwa six huyu mwingine ako eight huyu mwingine form hivyo hivyo but for now hiyo mambo ya huyo jamaa tuliachana kabisa ndio baba wakati alimwambia kwa geti yangu sikarudi tena mambo yangu na ye ikaisha na hata my dad akanibia nadhani nakwambia hivi nisiwahi kuona nimeletoa mtu ranga huko kwa ile kiti hata kama sio huyo nikasema asante nimesikia so hapo Mungu ni mwaminifu. Nika strangle tu na live yake. Nili guy nika strangle na live kutafutanga majobu. Nikatafutanga nini kazi za shule. Ulifanya haja ukatoka kwa Red Cross. Red Cross wakati watoto walibebwa na huyu mkorea wakajengewa maema hiyo. Mhm. Mm Wakaniambia tuende zote. Nikawaambia mimi maema hiyo sitaweza kuenda hata kama napenda job. Cuz ninajua mzigo ama my papa nini lengo langu ni watoto wangu wakae in the right hand na nikienda mai mahi itakuwa inanisubua kurudi na huku tena kuwa, kujua mahali wameenda wacha this time grace ya Mungu imefanya wakifunga shule wanakuja mahali niko nitulie so hao wakavugua hata leo hiyo shule iko huko mai mahi huyo alikuwa mkolea wakaenda so wakati walienda lazima ningetoka huko kwa hiyo nyumba za Red Cross sasa mm -hmm. zinikutafuta hata kama ni shule si, nini zimevunguliwa wamerudi sasa mimi nikutafuta kibarua kutafuta kibarua by the grace of god sababu nilikuwa tu nime tumekaa huko Udheru Fred mwingine wangu tulikuwa tumejuana huko tu Udheru nikasema nitakuja kwake by the way alikuwa anakaa hapa 87 nikasema nitaenda 87 nikakuja kukuja tukakutana naye nikamuuliza unaona kama naweza pata job huko akaniambia enda tu uulize kwa shule cause niko na sasa hiyo mambo ya shule by the way I, I was a very good teacher in social study english mm. si alai mimi hata sasa hii nikirudi shule nitafundisha tu mm. but it's taki <laughs> staki niliumiza wakati nilikuwa napenda na so nikapata shule nikapata shule na nikasomesha hapa classes nikalenti nyumba huko Udhiru tena nikiwa peke yangu nikakaa huko sasa my kids would come from school wanakuja wanalala one week baba yao alitoka huko huko Mungoga akaenda Kikuyu ameoa mwingine yako na vijana <laughs> aliyo mwingine yako na vijana 
na vijana boys because me I could not give him a boy I wonder lakini huyo mzee mm-hmm. si uli hapo mwanzo kabisa mm-hmm. huyo mzee ulisikia sisi taki ya akisema alikuwa na bibi huyo alikuwa na bibi nyumbani na kijana first born wake eh. ni mzee mahali ya nao kwani aliyekuwa ameachana na wao eh alikuwa amefurugiwa huko home mpaka akatoroka na ni neighbor yao me i don't know the type of people that they are so mm-hmm. akaenda huko kikuwa kwa mwingine ako na vijana mimi siku mimi si ni mungu anapeaga mtu mtu mtoto ni god anajua mm so mimi tukaka hiyo so the kid would come to visit me then wanaenda kumsalimia because me i don't have another dad that i can introduce this kid to mm. to the to the man so mimi nilisema if me tumekosana akukosana na watoto wa na so, siwezi watoto, introduce kwa mwingine eh, watoto wa kifuga shule walikuwa nakuja kwako i love wanaenda yeye yeah, alikuwa naishi wapi Kin, oh, the, nini kikuyu watoto walikuwa wanaenda eh, wakikuja kwangu naende kwa kikuyu so watoto walikuwa naangaliwa vizuri. Hakuwa na shida isipokuwa the sometimes angekunywa awakorofe. Paka za hiyo anakorofa sometimes wanakuja kwa mimi. Tulienye. Eh hey, za hiyo anapiga simu tulikuanga na kasimu ya Motorola. Hebu kuja sina problem. Naenda. So tuliishi hivyo paka wakaenda Mungu akiwa yesaidia yeye amemaliza form 4 ameanza course huyu mwingine hivyo for now at least i thank god kila mtu amejishikilia samu ya anamalizia courses zake ni anawasomesha anaripanga lakini at the same time mtu akipata samu ya anayesafanya kajobu anafanya na anajisukuma tu Oh wow wenyewe wanajilipia shule eh, sometimes eh, sometimes but it's oh, ni wakubwa saa hii saa hii wako kila mtu ka college mahali somewhere wako 18 years plus mm-hmm. almost mm-hmm. mm. hawajafikisha watoto wanasemaga aje 18 na 19 hapo mtu wako college ni 19 na 20 hapo wanasemaga aje watoto huyo jamaa waliko sana na huyo mwingine sai na sitaki ajue ni yeye naongea mm. yote ilienda job iliisha huko huyu mwingine walitadikana ikaisha hivyo sasa hii ako huko kwa milima akibeba ile nini ya madizi wacha eh ana chochote huku ana anything atia kwa wapi Ujago akibeba ile vitu ya, ya inakuri yango na ngombe ya madisi. Miraba. Eh hiyo. Ka, kazi yake ilifanya nini? Si alitolewa sababu ya kukunywa. Alikuwa hata ameenda amekuwa mwenda. Broken mind. Akajikuta huko huko madhare. Eh. Mm. Three months. Diet depression. Mhm. Mhm. Bobe. Kwa memuharibu baka kuruka na sasa wakati huo wote watoto wako wapi ni wewe ulikuwa na wao saa hiyo si saa hiyo sasa wako tu kore wako college hivi Aki, akinini akiwa ina hiyo mental problem eh alikuwa eh akiwa na mental problem alikuwa sasa walikuwa tunakaa nao mara anaenda hiyo nyumba ya kikuu lakini sasa wakati alipona kazi ikaisha huyu mwakakozana wa wow. sasa yana bebana na hiyo mirampa ushago kwa ma, kwa mama yao mama wapi mama yao lakini she passed away huyu bro wake wa huko alikuwa amemwambia anunue mashaba huko passed away dada yake alikuwa a big doctor kinyata passed away that family imeenda tu hivyo ni nini ifanyika kwa hiyo family unajua mimi hata sijaika huko more than 3 days huko kwa tu how comes for the pass wote eh Maria daibo nani watu amesoma. Wa, hata huyu alikuwa doki Kenyatta. Alikuwa anajulikana ni psychiatrist, alikuwa mkubwa, alioweka tu hat. Mhm. Ikafifia akaenda hivyo. Huko UK. Haya, hai, he, he, he. Aliwachwa peke yake huko akibadilika mara moja na alikuwa Unajua ushago zile boma zinajulikana utajiri na do mm-hmm. ati hata huko neighbors 
walikuwa kutembea huko alikuwa anaona kama anaingia sijui ni kwa nani kwa mkubwa hawakuwa hawa naenda ovyo 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 huko ni kuenda hivi na ni kama ameito akafanye job huko wa we kulikuwa kuna uopo na neighbors lakini sasa hii hakuna and that's why the bible say god hates pride and the pride comes before a distraction so when god lifts your life hata mtu asikarige asikarige now my main issue hiyo niliashana nayo na nikam forgive because i want god to forgive me for the bible say if you don't forgive one another you are not forgiven in heaven so hiyo yote mimi niliashana nayo na nikasema mungu ulimuuba ni wako chukua kwa hivyo saa hii mm. mtoto wa PP2 haezi somesha. Saa hii? Mm. Asomeze? Mm. Yeye hawezi hana hiyo nguvu. Acha acha hata gua baada ipa hawezi nunua. Mtu anabeba milaba ya ngombe hata nunua daipa kweli. Alikuwa amefikisha watoto wapi kabla uh, life imgeuke? Hao walikuwa ameshamaliza shule? Form 4 nini? Hao. Mm. Mm-mm. Watoto nani amewasomesha mahali wame, wakati alilemewa yeye? Hiyo kuremewa. Hmm. Unasema wa huyu watoto wako. Wangu. Si nini alikuwa anawasomesha? Ah, unajua ni chagufu dio na kuambia hata kama kama unaona kama nini kama nini kama saa hii tuseme pulima aliwalipia. Na AIC haikuwa inalipwa. Sababu ilikuwa inasaidia watoto wa Masai wale walikuwa wanafichwa watoke kwa hizo custom za wa Masai wanakuja kusomeshwa AIC ndio warindwe kutokana na customs na traditions za wa Masai ndio aliwapeleka huko ndio asilipange fees <laughs> we chakula we wanapewa <laughs> wanapewa na nani na wengi kutaka wanalipwa pesa mingi kwa ni pesa yake ni yani ni sinia watoto kama hata huyo wa pili huyo wa pili amemukali wali wali waliachana wali sasa watoto juu wameenda college nani mm. anawasomesha sasa kama kama huyu mkubwa mm-hmm. anaendelea na anafanyanga hizi unaona hata hizi online mm. online writing mm. e, nimeziona na saa hizi kona pesa sana mm. na sababu ame Mungu amesaidia mtu ame unajua hakuna kitu kizuri unakuwa ina problem ukielewa hizi shida hizi shida inafika kasamu ya unasema it is enough mimi hizi shida sisitaki afadhali nifanye hivi hii kitu ni 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 nikataa ni, ni, ni hizi shida niishi nazo so ni watu sasa mtu hata akipata kakibalua anaweza jinunulia kasimu kama hako anafanya na online watoto wanadaga kumuona huko eh ai anaweza aliyeda masishi hawajeda kumuona uh-uh. wanampigia kasimu Oh na mpiaga. Eh? Wewe. Eh. Kumjulia hali. Eh. Huyo? Hai, ah ah. Hapana. Kwa nini? Ujai mpigia kiwa oh. mbele yako sai. Hai. Hata mm. umsalimie muuliza oh. lajini. Oh. Eh. Unajua my mom passed away 2021, hmm. daddy passed away 2010. Oh, your dad passed away. Mm, 2020 alikojeka pneumonia kapaz. My oh. da- mama akaonini aka akapaz 2020. Mm. One November na pia corona time. Eh, eh wakati wa corona na mm. nili, ilinifungilia huko ushago. Mm. So akagojeka na yeye pia pneumonia. Mm. Akapaz away 2020. Hiyo 2021 ndio alikuja masiji ya mama yangu. Mm. I tell you mimi niliona mzee tu amefaa kofia na kitake kikubwa lakini mimi nikaona anaongea na mae dota nikashindwa nani yule dota angu anaongea na huyu mzee na simjui ni mzee gani huyu anaongea na e. mimi nikajifanya tu nikapita sikujua ni yake after sasa tulienda wakati wa mbali ya mama yangu sasa ikaisha ndio nirudi nikauliza mae dota kwani huyo mzee ni mgani na mimi simjui mlikuwa mnaongea na ye. you are serious aki akanambia mamu wewe wacha jokes si ni dadi nikamwambia vina ku ndo kejea mbona huko niambia ni msalimie aki kwani yeye hakukujua yeye ananijua kwa sababu ananiona na mae dota huko 
sasa anaisikia oh aibu hataki kuniona kwa sababu alifikiri ataniacha niishe au hiyo saa hii hata amefikia ame, ame, imefika mahali ya kumforgive hata kama amekupitisha hiyo yote mm-hmm. i tell you it's ish. imagine hata huyo ni mtu hata kwa alienda akafuruga mama yake mama yake hata wakati alikuwa anapaza wewe alikuwa amekozana kabisa yani dunia imemfikisha hapo hapo sasa hii anateremka na hiyo milima ya huko na na hiyo mavitu ya architect mm. muzima angeku na kwa pia tuge, hii kino tugekuwa hiyo hizo namba za matajiri huko hii hii unaona kama ni wapi makosa ilikujia na life ya hiyo familia yote na yeye personal hata yeye one one thing pride that family was so proud watu walikuwa na kiburi neighbors kwao hawageenda hivi unless kuna kitu waitwe walikuwa wanainamiwa kama Mungu they were yani ni walikuwa gods wa hiyo area hiyo pride ujue Mungu haipendi ni watu wamesoma wamesoma kweli kweli ni watu Mungu alibariki na majobu makubwa unasikia kama huyo lieutenant kano huyu doctor anania psychiatrist ni mtu huyo ni architect brother mwingine wengine mwingine ni soja hata wa leo huko na nyuki lakini yote imeongolewa who is god is not a respecter of a person Mm-hmm. Why? Wanaume 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 mm-hmm. hii vizuri. I tell you yeah, I just no. wish men could finish this video and listen to you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sasa let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Before dad I pass away. So even now me I don't miss marriage. I don't miss I only miss Jesus. Jesus dia na biaga nikisi. Kama mi nitalala ja tutalala na jana wewe. So My main my main issue is here. Hiyo sasa ni that life niliona imeenda hiyo nikasema God is the same yesterday today and forever. Mm. He has not changed. He so is, a woman can be a blessing to the family. Yeah. And also a curse. A curse in a family. So I don't believe in this nini that goes mm. that at mwanamke ni yeye anapomwanga nyumba na mikono yake. Mm. That is wrong. Na mimi I don't take that one because surely especially ladies wale wana hit wana pedanga kuinua nyumba zao kuinua na nimesikia hata kwa hizi nini interview mnafanya hapa mm. unasikia mtu ameangangana amengangana amengangana kwanza mmoja nilishuhudia hapa akisema hata vile alingangana ali huyo mwanake alikuwa anamuibia pesa anatoa pesa kwa account zake na phone yake kama hajui so mimi mahali nilifika nikasikia god i surrender all to you Now it is me and you and my fa- my children. Hiyo mm. tu sitaki sasa mambo ya huko. Hata sitaki kuota. By the way nilipiga magoti nikaambia Mungu uniondole huyo hata kwa kwa doto. Uniondole unif- unifanye tu nisahau tulikuwa gana yeye. Hata akiwa hivyo. Mm. Yeye mwenyewe oh. amewahi kupigia simu akwambia ni mimi ni regret ile mambo yatu nimewahi kufanyia. Oh. Una kupiga simu. Unajua watu wale hata akirigee akirigret hata kwa bia ndio usimuone si mwanaume. Na mimi sitaki sorry sake by the way. Mimi hata saa hii dunia na bigu ishikane hivi siwezi rudi kwake. Na hata simtamani by, by the grace of God. Siwezi nitaka hata kwa nyumba yangu. I'm, 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 I'm speaking the truth. Sasa mahali yako anakuhua wanaishi na nani? Unajua nimemhurumia. <laughs> saa hii anaishi kwa boma ya mama yake kwa nyumba ya mama ya by the way kuna wimbo nilisikia ni wimbo ama ni kwa youtube nilisikia another lady was complaining and say wana ume wa mlanga wa ba watokagi kwa nyumba za mama yao ndio unakutaka boma hey, hey, yao ndio wakati nilisikia alikuja kwa kwenu na akalala mm. hey. unaona ni kari hey. mm. so <laughs> wanaume tuko na shida mahali manze wewe kama uko hapa na umeolewa na umeoa na umesikia hii video kuwa peke yako by the way ebu bring your husband mlete kwanza asikie huyu mama i am shocked there are things that you don't need to keep quiet with na kuna fight who fight ku prolong for long afadhali wewe ukiwa mwanaume ujaribu kushikilia mwanamke ambaye amekatu hapo de mm. lakini si mwanamke akushikilia wakati wewe umekaa hapo de ukiwa mm. mwanaume mm. na ukiona huyu mama mm. ako na kitu ambao inaweza waleta pamoja na yuainue zaidi imagine listen to mm. this woman mm. 
Yeah. Very well. This is not just a story. This is not just a story. Mm -hmm. And one of my Aye. teacher, the head teacher, she was from Uganda. Nasa sabona hujarudisha shule. Sababu zahi ni kita. Kabla hata tufike hapo. Mm. Sahi. Wewe hapa unaishi na nani? Na Peke yangu na Yesu. Na unafanya kazi gani? Sina job. Unatoa hapi chakula? Ah, nilezi niende samu wa mtu anipe kibaluwa niyoche na kumekosa. Kibaluwa gani? Yo yo hapa hata kama ni. Mi hata nimesha osha nyuba na kuangalilia mtu mtoto shule ya peleke. Mi I hate myself sometimes. Hey, apana, Even you are blessed. Zangu. This mm. life is not in my nani. Mm. Chris, this life I'm living here mm. with me, it's nothing. What am I doing in this place? This place is not in my portion. Take me out of this place. Now, ni pereke kwa baraka zangu. Because this is a kuna kit. Mimi hata spread this place. Sai huwezi kuwa mwalimu. By the way, isi ni mba yangu. Ya, sai huwezi kuwa mwalimu. Sitaki kuajiliwa. Sitaki mutu aniajili. Anipan, ani, anipan, awa ananipimia time, ananipimia pesa, hivi nimesha pata wewe. pesa mingi, alafu mutu anipe ngiri tatu hapo edi ma... Nasema wewe, mm. uwezi anza kashule. Kashule na eza, but where is the capital? Don't Hiyo worry, God will come. Hmm? Capital God will ya kuanza shule igine diyo. And it's something else I wanted to ask you, ni waulize, kama muna esa nyesaidia hii. Before my dad died, iyo shaba, Aliga, two four, two sisters, two brothers. My first, our first born brother, kuna shabari, pati, baba alinua kando na iya home. Na iyo, 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 iko inja ya home ni six acres. So akasema, because you are the first born, ila iko kando na iya home, diyo nitakupea. Aza, inheritance yangu. Iyo six acres ni mekupea. Brother angu le first born. Before my daddy died. Brother angu wakapewa hata taitodia kabiyo eda ujipange. Hiya hapa home. Ni ya charity. Susan na Robin. Tuka. Wanyucho this is your portion. This is your portion. That is your portion. Wakati dada litobia hivyo. Dio ali, ali, sasa alihojeka kabisa na akadimitiwa hospitali. Inaitangu wa tomotomo. So, akiwa hapo, tulikuwa, tunaenda kumuanga. Nikuwa natoka na yobi, naenda tomotomo na rudi. Aldi, alikuwa na, na mukubuke, mimi na washia, upendo, na im, amani, peace. Vile nilisema, iyo home, mutu mahali pake, lakini, sija wafunga hapo. Mukika, mukikubaliana muuze, mushe, kila mutu, poshoni yake, ile, vile itatoka. Kila mtu apate poshoni, pesa poshoni yake. Mushikicha apata, mahali sasa mungu atakubaliki uende, ununue, utumia yako na madasi. Mimi sina anything. I have blessed you with that one. Iyo tujo ningeweza kuwapea. Dadi akaenda. By that time walienda likuwa, bro yangu, huyu, huyu sasa tulimbaki na ye, tukapewa iyo tukiwa three. Before dadi anini, alikuwa membo bia. Kana hita ito di. My dadi akiwa sasa mwajwa kana hiyo kitu. Isidi ya ipotele huko huko unajua watu ni different. Dugu yangu wakachukua. Akae na hiyo. Lakini ya kabi ube, ujue umebeba hawa wegini. Mm -hmm. Diyo taito ni moja. Diyo taito ni moja. Yeah. So, if you, you mkisikia mkielewa na muuze hiyo chupa, muuze. Mukawanya pesa, mtu mahali atasikia mungu wake, atamwambia akafanye, mm. aede afanye kiri anata, mimi sisemi mtu afanye hivi ama hivi. Kwa zinaeza peda hapo, lakini njini hamupe, hamua pedi hapo. Kwa likuwa mzaimu, elefu sana. He was so, but my dad is not a, a, an original kikuyu. He is a mazai. Na miyangu di original kikuyu wanyeli, anaito wangui. Mm. So wangui na mahida wakati walikutana Nairobi, Alitanganya hui masai wamenue chaba nyeri. Na baba abadilishe jina haki masai ajite mahida. Diwa kubalike ukikuyu, diyo yuko hivu. So, <coughs> mami alikuwa very clever hakutanganya. Mm. <laughs> Na iteni yuka chibumba he was beautiful. Unaona uku, uwezi kompea uku na kwetu. Kwa tu ni veri, hata siti maza inje, majit, toilet, ziku huku. <laughs> Mama alikuwa mwerefu. 
Lakini unaona hata kimdaganyelia walikuwa wanaishi pamoja vizuri. Eh wali, walipatana na Nairobi sijui walipatana nje na Masai. Hmm. Masai akaabiwa na mama abadiliche jina yake Masai ajita. Unajua mahida sio jina ya kikuyu. Mahida ni times. Jiite times. Ini mahida. Times. Mm. Akatoa ile akaweka. Na ujue it is funny. Dadi ya kuwa metupereka kuwa ho. Hajai kutujulisha kuwa ma watu wao. Alifichanga. Alikuwa yanga na chomoka naenda peke yake. Su so, hatujui familia yao. Hadi waleo. Mm. Mimi sijui. Sijui hata nani. Sijui. <laughs> Lakini mi najua. Kwa ni wapi. Elungui sijui wapi. We. <laughs> Mama alimbadilisha hata migu. <laughs> so, <laughs> mama likuwa mkari ya naitwa wangui, wangui, mkari sana. <laughs> so, <laughs> sasa mgu wangu ni mwaminifu sana, nikuwa nimefika wapi. So my brother, tukashiwa. <laughs> sasa si ile ya muze ya huyu mutu na watoto, tumefika hapu hata zai wanaendelea. I thank God for that. Waki college mtu kakazi yake kamoja kanafanya ka engineering eh mwingine electronic huyo mwingine ya kokosi tu ya hata hata yeye anataka anafanya ile ya psychiatrist hata yeye mm. mm. I thank God for everything sasa nendi hujamaliza hapo kwa nini title deed title deed sasa ndio nataka niwamalizie mm. so brother angu si dad ya meda 2010 mm. tukaka Tukaka, tukasema, because my mom is here, hatutauliza mambo ya poshoni yangu ule mwingine. Tukote mama yetu, tukae na ewe, antio mungu, wakati ule hata tutaishi. Mm. So, hakuna mtu waliogea mambo ya shaba. Mm. Lakini tugeona, brother yangu, anaendelea kupe, kupanuka. Na brother yangu ni mtu wa business, anaendelea kupanuka. Akapata, aka get married. Alinunua nyumba kubwa hapa buruburu 55 Mangalili anapeleka mapanjero na prando Akona jaba wapi akona jaba wapi akona jaba wapi tukauliza na dadangu ama huyu mtu ameshuhudia title deed ya dadi yetu dada dadi yetu equity akapewa luni akaongezea ma business Mimi na kwa unaona hizi matrakta ya wacha ina zilikuwa zinalima zinalima huku barabara hmm. brothangu alikuwa na hizo vitu type yote Na moja sijui alikuwa na nunua milioni ngapi. Tunamuuliza. Sisi una sisi mamu alimi shaba yote. Mimi pocho niyangu nataka niuze nijipange. Dada angu ule ananifuata na ya nasema nata mimi. Pocho ni ya mamangu kule kumeje kwa nyumba za mawe. Na kila kitu na kila kitu wewe baki na hiyo. Sababu ume contribute. Brother angu anasema. Ule anataka aende kotini ama kwa roya. You see, vile alibadilika. Ilifika sasa 2010, my mom akapas. Mom before akapasa, akambiwa na akabia brother yangu. Unakupuka hawa ni wewe umewabeba. Hii jaba ni enu. Vile mahida alisema, ni hivo tu, mufuate hivo. Mukisikia mutu hataki kuka hapa, mukubaliane, mugawane, mutu mahali mungu atambaliki. Fili ataenda na mungu wake, ajipange na ye, asimame kama wewe. Mana mama alikuwa naona bula zangu fili yako. Wa, my brother ni nani hebu ni kuoneche hapa kwa fono. Na kwa bia tawaleo, nadana hii nyuba. Bula zangu, zile pesa hako nazo, machaba, nini, na nikiumpigia simu ni mwapi. Bro, unafikiri sisi tutainuka lini. Yule anasikia kama ukona pesa hako eda kotini eda. Useme, yu tuuze chaba. Aliuza shamba? Hiyo. Shaba inakaga, unaona watu hawa walifukuzo 207 na huko, mm. na huko Elodore. Mm. Sijui alipata moja wapi, family moja, akaipea ikaage huko. Kila kitu, wakati wa masichi wa mama agu diyo kwanza ilinistua. Wakati mama halizikuwa hivi, hivi, akafunikuwa na mchaga, watu wakatoka. Bro yagu alita watu wakazi wa mikono, walibomoa huko. Nyupa mama ikatole kafi, kila kitu atabedi za ke, sufuria, kila kitu, kila kitu sika. Vitu alikuwa gana stoa mejenga huko nyuma ya, ya nini kwetu kumejengwa mjengo wa hari ya juu. Haka toa hizo vitu, nani nyumba sama, haka toa hizo vitu, machuma, mabao, sika leto nyumba ya mama. Haka na kifuri umpia, 
kifungu akaheka mungu ati huko hata sasa hivi ki feel kwenda home siwezi enda mama sasa yesu na kwetu dada yangu anani zanga sasa tutafanya tuta nini hata christmas kama hii hatuwezi enda atujui mahali yanaka ukitukipiga simu nipige nimuulize unaonanga haji na ile saba yenu si ndio hiyo wewe ukienda kuilima wewe mwenyewe si yako si wewe si lima because alitoa hata fence vile vitu zingekusaidia huko tanki za maji hizi kubwa alibeba na na na, na, na ima marori ma makubwa kapereka na huko mashamba yake so hakuna kitu unaweza fanya hata kwenda kulala hakuna nyumba ya mama aliweka bao na mashuma zile aliweka kwa alikuwa ameweka kwa store ya kuweka vitu sikaweko huko hata mahuiro baru na nini simuivunje na moto hizo vitu nje sasa tutatoa nje na sasa siwezi enda nitoe peke yako huko ni kwa mama yenu ni kwa mama yangu lakini naweza kulima nianze wapi fence hiyo nyumba nyumba mimi hata sina haja na sababu mimi sitaki tufurutane unaona chida zile nimepitia to me that is nothing Jose ni mwabia bro let me tell you those things are all useless if you don't share them equally according to the word of god tunateseka we unajijaza tu una let me show ni mwabia juice nisaidie na do niende kikomba ninunue one bale of cloth nianze kuuza ha kuongea mimi naweza kuambia pesa yake uachane nayo hata shilingi hata moja unaona mam eh Uyu, huku ni huu. Eh. Uyu ni sister yangu ile amenifuata. Hebu nikuonyeshe buraza yangu. Mm. Uyu, huu ni mtu amejaza. Eh eh. Naona mm. si maskini. Ametukulia mfuko kama mahindi. Acha na pesa yake. Juu. Mm. Mm. Sasa mmoja alikuwa na pesa vile sahihi ako wapi? ako huko akibeba milahaba ya ngombe unaona kani hii shamba aliuza hiyo shamba vile kuna wakati aliniambia ameenda kwa loya anaitwa Kariuki ati nani mkali sana ndio ati akapewa barua ingine sijui ya kusema nini ama ya kumpea freedom ati anaweza hata yuza kama sisi hatuko hata kama sisi hatuko hata labda maloya wa huo wanakosea yes, si ndio Najua hiyo ni imeadikwa mm. baba yako. Ni ya baba yangu. Huyu mzazi mm. wanafaa waulize alikuwa na watoto wengine. Mm. Kwa nini yote inabadilishwa kwa huyu mtoto mmoja mm. na hao wengine wako wapi? Those uh, are the rules that they should follow. Yes, but even you, before we sign kitu. Yes. But do you see and in, our, in our country these days they don't follow those rules. They don't follow those conditions. Mtu bora ameonyeshwa pesa because najua huyo jamaa kabura aseme yes kumpea hizo certificate za kwa mpatia rusa ati anaweza uza hata kama sisi hatuko. Ni mtu alikuwa amemwagia ye pesa hivi. Huyo amemwagia ye pesa. Na before alikuwa na pesa huyo brother. Brother yangu, mm. brother yangu alianza aliku yani at least alikuwa ye ameme am, nini? At least mm. ile ile pesa unaona hiyo ni kiwango at least hiyo yeah, anajihangira that's why hata alipewa hiyo title eh, alijihangira hivyo so my dad akikufa akaona mimi akiniashia na niko na huku nitahesaje kungangana na ito ito di tu iwe separated yangu na sister na ye so akamwambia wewe ndio utaweza kuingia huko hii nini kama kuna mtu anataka kubaki na portion yake abaki na yake hivi kama mtakubaliana kuza mu Okay. Tukaogea after wow. my mother's body. Tuliogea mm. tukasema tunataka sisi na dadangu na yeye. Hii chamba tuuze. Dadangu mpatie pati yake na mimi yagwe baki na yako. Kama we utaki kuuza your portion, sisi tupatie pesa za portion zetu wewe endele kukaa wapi? Mm. Kukaa hapa. Sasa mnaishi tu hivyo na unaishi hapa na hii sasa hii ndio gishagi yangu ndio town yangu ndio kila ki, mimi nachukia ba, mimi sipendi hii life mi am very active mimi am not a lazy person mtu ukisikia amefungua yeah. shule yake na ako na shule unaajiri teachers unaajiri watu wa kupikia watoto huyo ni mtu lazy kweli sasa mm. uge peda kuambia hawa watu waje mimi cause najua watu wa Kenya ni watu wako na upendo na wanajali wenzao first i thank you kilis 
de maedia there sababu mulijitolea kuja kuona hali ninapitia na kunisikiliza thank you may god bless you mm. so mimi wa Kenya kwa sababu tuko na a blessed nation that is called Kenya na ninajua I have brother and sister in Kenya that love the Lord. Yes. Na nijui na ninajua the the one they take care wanajali wengine hata ninajua huwa nimeshashuhudia wanainua hata wale wako na shinda hata nimeshashuhudia wakisimama na watu mtu kama akohosi. I thank God I'm well. My children are well. I thank God sababu kama hata hiyo ingine imeisha hatujahi kuwa ati tunaenda ku admitted hospital. Ah. Najua pia wewe unaweza ito shule na uogelesha wa anafunzi. By the way counseling. You can do so very well. Very well. Ama eh, home. Eh, Unaona hii home ya offense. Eh. Hata hiyo naweza peda by the way. Mm, But hiyo nayo eh, iko na nini ina. process kubwa. Sasa hapa unalipa pesa gapi? Hii tunalipa ngait. Okay. Sababu ya haka ka kitu ati mm. na tiles mm. ati ni barabarani. Mm. Sasa na hiyo nayo ni ni msafi. I like it. you know cleanliness <laughs> the word says. Eh, Next to God. Everything eh. is so neat. So na Jesus sasa akasema get cleansed inside mm. and also outside. Si we clean outside and the inside you are dark. Yeah. Na when you allow Christ to wash you inside you mm. even that brightness will shine outside you. Yeah. So that is what I like. Akina peda jesa. Lakini watoto wako wanakujanga? Yes, once, once if you. Okay. When somebody is free, eh. who are nani pop. Mara okay. nyingi we shut. Yeah. Mm. But when yeah. the, one of them is free, they mm. come. Nakuja. Mm. May God bless them. Them. May them mm. fill the gap. Amen. That you lost. Surely. Unaona kama saa hii brother yangu angekubali kulilisi hiyo nini tuuze hiyo chamba mm. mimi ya mountain ningeza kupata mm. nilikuwa nasema tu naweza tu tafuta hawa watu wanausanga hizi plots hata kama tu nikaka plot ya nyumba mm. at least we naka some who yanajua tunaweza one day Mungu akatusaidia tujege nyumba ye mm nyumba yetu yeah. mm. na mimi kitu kingine nimeona na Isaabia wanaume mm. wenye ambao wanapenda watoto wao mm. ukiona it is very good mm. au watoto utakuja kuwagawia mali yao mm. before you do anything chua wapatie kila mtu yake mm. usipatie mmoja atiugoje mm. eh. eh, atiwakuje mm. wagawie na hao mwingine mm. hakuna mtu mm. mzuri na pesa hakuna tupatie naba yako ya simu mm. na majina yako yote Okay wa Kenya namba yangu ya simu ni 0115838821 Jina ni Shaliti Mahinda Mimi nasema ni asanti na nashukuru mm. kwa sababu nimeona makuu Amen. na nimeona mtu wa ajabu Amen. na ni wewe Amen. I am very sure mm. hapa hata watu wako huko nje watu wengi tunaogiaga na wanasikia gani watu wamekomaa ni watu kama wewe Amen. wanakuuliza mwangi huyo mtu nilimsikiza mm. na ningependa kumjua zaidi Amen. watakupigia simu mtaongea mm. mm. naona wewe unajua uko na WhatsApp mm, eh by the way uko na WhatsApp mm. unaweza mtumia message kwa WhatsApp mm. na unaweza mpigia simu na WhatsApp. Zap. Mm, hata picha hata kama ni jioni <laughs> hata mm. picha zimemanya i have a, my own picture yeah hizo utanitumia eh ndio nataka eh you take this one in your in your nini okay ni sawa so watu wangu that is the end of our conversation today mm. if you would like to share your story with us mm. please you can call at 0700048419 mm. eh no Yeah, it's a nice. No, no, no. 